Hello, I'm Jashikins, and welcome to another vlog review. And if my phone doesn't ring, we can actually get through this review. And this review is of the elementary episode Terra Paracolosa. And I probably horribly mangled it, but I have become more confident in pronouncing them miss correctly. This episode, I really enjoyed the whole Sherlock Joan and Kitty dynamic. I think in a previous vlog I mentioned how Sherlock and Joan seem to be the parents of Kitty, and it really does show this episode. <laughs> because Kitty is starting to text this guy called Zachary, and Sherlock has found out about that, and so makes up these insane tasks for Kitty to do so Kitty will have less time to see Zachary and he thinks that Kitty has no idea that's why he's making her do that shit and Joan has to say to Sherlock, Sherlock that is sort of shitty how about you stop that because you're worried that Kitty will be hurt but you can't protect her forever so to speak and so at the end of the episode, Sherlock goes to Kitty and says, Yeah, I'm sorry about lying. Yeah, the sort of dick move. And Kitty's like, Yeah, I, I knew you were doing that. You can't hide that shit from me. And they easily make up with Sherlock saying, Hey, uh, do you want to take your boyfriend, Zachary? to this exhibit in the museum about insects tomorrow. So, you know, he's trying to make things right, even though she said, yeah, things are right. He's like, let me just make sure that you know that everything is good between us. Yeah, I, I really like that. I really like Kitty being there just because it helps Joan and Watt Joan and Watson, <laughs> Sherlock and Joan <laughs> actually come together again. Especially from them being apart in between season two and three, this creates a good reason for them to come together again. Although I think a lot of people don't like Kitty's character, I, I like it. She's adorable. And this episode seemed to be, you know, at the, at the start, these maps were getting stolen. And so they then thought, oh, it has to be this way. And then they, it ends up being found out by Joan, Sherlock, and Kitty. All of them have their input about going. It's actually all about Casino because the old map would have shown that where they were placing the casino, long story short, would not would not be able to happen. And if that casino wasn't built, the, this lady would not get her paycheck. So she, yeah, she had a forgery done and then, you know, killed the guy that was damn like there was a guy that was killed that got involved and there was like it wasn't just, just Lay's fault because then the people from the casino I guess got involved in it by accident it was like this big mishmash but then there's the one woman that wanted money one woman that wanted money that hired a guy to make a map and when he made, he lived, he lived, but another guy who made, I guess, a worse forgery got killed. No, she had planted that. It's, so yeah, it was, it's interesting, you know, you can, def, you can definitely say, oh, there was this person because casino money. But then, yeah, I... <laughs> In other words, the episode had a good many twists and turns making you think it's one person and then you find out all these facts and like, hey, it has a chance to be this person and then it was, ta-da, another person. <laughs> so, 
kudos. Uh, someone pointed out that this version of Sherlock is really the kindest one we have really ever had. And that was would be in part, I believe, to this Jones. This version of John Watson, I want to say John Connor, I reviewed uh, the Terminator Genesis trailer earlier today, so yeah. But anyway, it's John Watson. And the other adaptations has really been not as dominant as Joan has. Joan really takes no shit, and I think that's why we have a kinder Sherlock, because she's been the one to say, you're doing this shitty thing, don't do this shitty thing. <laughs> it's like, oh, okay. So, I like it. I mean, I like my... I like my weird antisocial Sherlock, but there's many adaptations for that. And I do like Elementary for the whole diversity aspect that this really does seem like a nice fresh new take. And I would love sort of a combination of Elementary and BBC's Sherlock because I sort of prefer that storytelling by, and you know, if you combined it with everything good about elementary, it would be totally fucking awesome. I know, I know, it's like, there's supposed to be two sides of, hey, the elementary fans on one side and the Sherlock fans on the other, it's like, you can enjoy both. It's like, and mind you, I do like this storytelling on this show or else I wouldn't have kept up with it for three seasons, trust me. If I don't like a show, I just go, and this seems like good it's time as any to end this vlog. So my final thoughts of the elementary episode Terra Pericolosa is that it's it's good. It has good dynamics between the group that shows growth with all of them. I really like the whole <laughs> Kitty and Joan scene in the beginning of this episode where you can definitely tell they've bonded and have become friends. Very different from the start of this season, so kudos. <laughs> and I have been Jashikins, owner at jashikins.blogspot, and if you go to my blog you can see vlog reviews like these. You can see the Terminator Genesis uh, trailer review that I did. You can see a bunch of other stuff. You can just have fun and get lost for a few hours and, es and escape your life. And I'm planning to hopefully edit and release the next chapter of SNN tomorrow. I meant to do it sooner, but yeah, for some reason, each chapter of SNN has been like, yeah, we're going to delay it for like two weeks each time for no reason. Just because it's, I have to like juggle around a whole bunch of different shit in real life, and it's like, <laughs> <laughs> sorry. And if you go on my blog, you can see the sidebar thingy, and you can see where else I'm on the web and say hi. And I've started a new thing on my blog, which I've been doing now for like a month, but I haven't really advertised it that much. But anyways, now on my sidebar thing, there's a dragon from Dragon Cave that I'm uh, raising and there you can suggest a name and there's a link that underneath the dragon also that does tell you the benefits of suggesting name. Long story short, if I choose the name you suggest you can advertise for a little bit of time on my blog so you know you can do something fun, get a little chance, and you know, if you have like an Etsy shop, a YouTube channel, whatever you want to advertise, you know, yay, yay. And if you're watching this video on the YouTubes, if you go down in the description, you can see a link to donate your account. If you donate your Twitter and or Facebook accounts to my campaign, thank you very much, and I really hope you have 
a good day, a good night, whenever you're watching this, and until next video, goodbye.